Now, Yoon Byung-se is in Moscow for talks with his Russian counterpart in the first official visit to Russia by the South Korean foreign minister. Minister Yoon's discussions with Sergei Lavrov are expected to send a strong message to North Korea. Connie Kim reports. South Korean Foreign Minister Yoon Byung-se and his Russian counterpart Sergei Lavrov agreed to strengthen cooperation on dealing with North Korea's nuclear weapons program and expand bilateral exchanges. The two top diplomats have shared the same view that the biggest obstacle hindering bilateral cooperation in various fields is the North's nuclear weapons program. They also reaffirmed that it is crucial for the international community to fully implement UN sanctions in leading North Korea to take a different direction, namely denuclearization. Yoon's meeting with Lavrov in Russia is in line with pressuring Pyongyang to give up its nuclear weapons program. Russia, North Korea's traditional ally and a member of the six-party nuclear talks, has supported the Kim Jong-un regime, but Moscow has recently become reluctant to show its support. Yun and Lavrov also saw eye to eye on boosting cooperation in various fields, including politics and the economy, which was agreed upon when the two presidents of the two countries held a summit in Seoul last year to mark the 25th anniversary of establishing diplomatic ties. Seoul and Moscow agreed to expand exchanges in the trade, automobile and the agricultural sectors, with aims to recover a record bilateral trade level posted in 2014. Further bilateral cooperation will be sought as the two countries signed a 2016 to 2017 deal on mutual exchange between the foreign ministries. They've also left the door open for another bilateral summit in the future. Connie Kim, Arirang News.